Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play King's Bounty Armored Princess. So last time we moved from Scarlet Wind to Bolo and today I guess you'll we'll spend the whole episode here just fighting uh, anything that we can find. There should be, I think, seven more fights, something like that. And we could even try the dungeon that's on Bolo uh, with... Um, target we should be able to uh clear the dungeon quite easily except for the boss of course but other than that as long as we can control where the ranged droids are shooting should be fine so uh i would like to make it all the way to level uh, to level 10 today and then we will see if uh, We'll find enough. We'll find enough fights to make it even to eleven, but I don't think we'll make it uh, higher than that. So on level eleven, ideally on level eleven, we uh, will have to try to get the charts to Verona. So that's the plan. Uh, also, we are fourteen fights away from Grand Strategy Three. That's a that's a long way actually. Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll try to find 14 fights. Hopefully, there they uh, those fights are somewhere. We can actually return to Scarlet Wind for a few fights as well. So with that, it should be possible. And that's all that we can do before before the decise, deciding fight. Um, we also got higher magic, so we can cast two spells per turn now. That will make it easier for us to work on the fire mage. That's another goal. And ideally, I'd like to get Distortion Magic 3, I think. It should also be possible. Yeah, one level and we can grab Distortion Magic 3. Uh, or do we want something else? Probably not. I think that's the priority now. Oh, of course, more mana. But that's, uh, that's probably the most difficult part. At this point, I don't really see an easy way how to get more mana. But well, enough talking. Let's... Let's start fighting. So, this fight is easy. They are slightly weaker. So, this should be quick. They don't have any range in it, so we just block this tower with the dragon, and that's basically it, I think. Okay, uh, shield. Fly forward. I think I want to do stone skin. Because these two can still do uh, at least some damage, so let's make sure we don't get into trouble. Spam the flaming arrow whenever possible, and we need one more rage to check for chests. Uh, let's grab the fish. Now we should be able to see where the chests are. forward and keep doing damage okay he should run into the trap move forward get more rage wow plus three that's the minimum and get some thorns Okay, do we have to move anything anywhere? Probably the bear, but I could just try to shock the bears. Did we shock them? No. Oh, where was the the chest? Is the chest somewhere around the dragon or was it here? Okay, this turn we don't have to cast anything special, so let's just go two flaming arrows. Get some mana back, and I have to be careful not to kill them too quickly. Look that. Oh, okay, so it's here. Which means next turn we can pick it up with the dragon. That's great. 
did you fall asleep? No. I could just do mana accelerator and pick up the chest with the royal, th uh, royal thorns. Two crystals, that's nice. Uh, kill that. Just an easy warm up fight. It's just important that we don't forget to cast as many. Flaming arrows as possible. Oh, ancient knowledge, nice. These are pretty good chests. We could try to lure these bears into the trap. Because I think they might yeah prioritize attack on the on the thorns. How much damage would this be? Too much. Because we can wait and get some more casts. Uh, this shouldn't be a kill. No, oh, come on. This shouldn't be a kill. Nope. So we're gonna burn a bit more mana. Get one more mana accelerator. Do that. Wait. We have one more holy anger. And finish the fight. Cool. Uh, fights like this are really just about getting the maximum out of them towards the award, so it could have ended much faster, but uh, by staying a little bit longer in the five of us, it was like two extra cast of the flaming arrow, one extra cast of the shield. Uh, so until we, are, we have those awards done, we will fight in this way. Okay, here we can talk to some new people. Actually, I actually don't remember this guy, what his quest is, or if, even if he has a quest for us. Well, first of all, we will check his shop. I won't read through all this because I know that this is nothing important for the main quest line. Uh, if you want to read it, just pause the video. Uh, there is another uh, Dragon Tooth, so that's the third one, I think, so we are missing two at this point. Uh, what else? Uh, we don't need the boat. Oh, I think this guy doesn't have a quest. He can just tell us about his uh, travels. Yeah, he visited basically all of the places around the world. So this is more just the lore. So if you want to read it, as I said, pause the video. I'll go through all the options. Lizards. Elves on Elon. Dwarves on, I think, the home... A home continent of dwarves is Montero. Demons. In this game it should be Shatera. That should be the home island of demons. Dead. Nameless island. And mermaids don't exist. Okay. This should be a new quest from Egerid the Toothless. So he wants us to get the revenge for him. I think he wants us to kill a shaman called Zag Zag. This looks like a relatively easy quest, but uh, the problem with Zag Zag is that he doesn't tell us where he is, and I actually don't know where to find him. But it may take a while until we until we until we find the shaman. But we will promise him that we will uh, we will take care of his problem. Now, there should be like five fights in this small area. Slightly weaker assassins, royal snakes. Okay, so we just have to be careful about the assassins. Okay, that helps. That definitely helps if they just kill themselves. And the approach is the same. 
Uh, no wrench units, so just stone skin. Try to ignite the snakes. Did it work? No. I wasn't paying attention because when you when you ignite them, you can see flames going out of the out of the unit. But as I said, I wasn't paying attention, so I just double checked. This is a little annoying. Uh, how far do we want to go? Let's get rid of the assassin. I think we have enough rage for now, so let's let's shoot. And spit out some of these. Do I go for haste? So that I can pick up the first chest already? Probably not. I'll just focus on these bears now. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna wait. He managed to shock them, that's good. Dig up the first chest. Get closer. Now we can pick it up. Hmm. This turn we are definitely not digging up anything, so let's just get some mana. Okay, the other chest is... where exactly? There. That means... what does it mean? Just go for another mana accelerator. And we'll wait for an extern here. Shield up. They fall asleep? No. Uh, we have only one turn left on stone skin, so we want to wait and let them attack first. Now we grab the snakes, dig up the chest, and keep casting Flaming Arrow. I could probably do more damage this way than just hitting them with uh, uh, only three Archmages. Uh, 
Okay, so what can we do now? We can... We can cast one more Flaming Arrow that won't kill them. And... Refill the mana. I'm pretty sure the shield is on cooldown. That means we just end the fight here. I'm just gonna save from time to time, just in case I mess up somewhere. I, I, I know myself, I sometimes make stupid mistakes, or uh, more likely than that, me making a mistake at this stage of the game is that I misclick. Uh, if In case that happens, I just want to have the option to to reload instead of replay like five, five fights. Uh, another one. I'm gonna pick up everything after we are done fighting. Okay, here we probably do want to use target, otherwise the griffins will just fly to our squishies. Target here. Before we do that, where are the treasures? Where is the other one? Oh, back there. Hmm, annoying. Okay, so the priority are definitely griffins. They are most difficult to control. They have resistance to magic, so the our casters won't really do that much to them. Should I? Uh, they are level. Let's see, furious, flight, magic, resistance. Um, but they are not immune to the kick, so we can speed things up by kicking one of them into a trap. There is nothing else for a dragon to do this turn. Yeah, the traps are nasty. That's why I want to have them up as soon as possible. Uh, how are we doing here? One turn on, on target. So we have one turn to get rid of this stack. Once again, where are the, the chests here? If I go there, then I'll be able to pick it up next turn. So that's another stack gone. How much mana do we have? I think if I should do kick or if I should do if I should do mana accelerator. Let's get the mana. Now the griffins will hit someone, but there are only three left, so they sh shouldn't have enough damage to kill anything. <clears throat> Be great if 
the bears fell asleep. Nope. Because they're unfortunately gonna block the thorns. So I'm just gonna pick up the, the, the chest with the, with the dragon. That's the easiest solution. And let's get some more chum blockers. I don't want to use Fighting Trance because next turn I want to be able to use Magic Shield. Okay, so we can kill the bears. And what do we want to do now? Flaming arrow? Another mana accelerator. One more shield. And end the fight. Good. So those were the the like, really easy fights because these two, these what was it? Three stacks were sl slightly weaker. Now we'll have two stacks that are strong. So that's uh, slightly weaker, equal, slightly stronger, and strong. So like three levels higher. What is this? Devilfish, Fire Spiders, Barbarians, all pretty pretty fast. No range units. And uh, Dragonflies, Buried Bear Circus. This fight is probably easier. But it doesn't matter, we have to do both. Mm. Yeah. Probably could imagine better positioning for the traps, but it's not horrible. We should be able to use all three of those traps if we position the dragon here. Do I want to attack? I don't think so, I'm just gonna end the turn. I'd much rather get extra duration on the, on our buffs in this fight. Because here the dragons just have to hold for as long as possible, take as little damage as possible. Come on! Really? Okay, devilfish first, they're annoying. Um warriors are the what do we want about what do we want? What would be better? Warriors or or the, the ranged ones. 256 warriors is, is a lot. I guess I'm fine with it. I can probably start digging. No, I can't. The bear uh, could actually pick it up. Wait? Do you want to wait? Try to ignite the fish. There we go, now it worked. And try to ignite... Let's try to ignite these guys. 
Perfect. United both. We got quite lucky with that. Wait. Oh, actually now, after those two flaming arrows, we need mana. So let's do that. Fighting trance. Doesn't really matter what we hit. We don't need the movement reduction, really. <clears throat> Just do as much damage as possible. Should probably kill this stack so that it opens a path for for the warriors to get behind uh, behind them and start picking up chests. So let's. Right, almost. This turn we'll have to recast uh, the buffs. Wait. Oh, you don't have enough damage to finish them off. That's unfortunate. Bear won't be able to do anything so may as well. Let's actually no, let's wait. <clears throat> so that we use some of the rage before we use an ability that actually generates quite a lot of rage. Uh, you can shoot. Now we use mana leech. And now we recast target because the spiders are pretty fast, so I want to have them occupied. Kill them. Nope. Well, it doesn't matter at this point. At this point, we are picking up the chests. Uh, there are only three stacks left, so easy to control. The, all of the defensive buffs are up. Now we can just spam flaming arrows. Uh, spiders first. I could probably fly here. And grab the spiders, pull them a little bit farther away from our squishies. Keep shooting, don't think we need another stack of thorns. Spiders are gone. We still have one more turn on all of the buffs, so that means another arrow. Mana is low. Let's make sure we refill it. And again, don't want to use Fighting Trend so that we can cast Shield. It's, it makes no difference with uh, only three Archmages. Um, the, the reason why we have them is to use the Shield as often as possible to work on the award. And of course, get that 50% damage reduction on the Dragons all the time. don't even need to cast the, the Holy Avenger or Anger or whatever it's called here. Wait. We want to let the bears attack first so that they don't move. Finish off the Barbarians. Hit the bears. We 
block this tile, make sure that the bears don't move towards the, the archmages. <clears throat> Is there anything else that we can do here? Mana accelerator, I guess? Just want to use the rage to get the experience for the dragon. So even if we don't need it that much, it's still worth doing. Okay, one more flaming arrow. What is the turn? Turn seven. Uh, for now, I think we should always be under turn ten of these fights. Even though the enemy is strong, it's still there's quite easy these fights. Uh, but later, if we cast flaming arrow on, 11, on, on turn eleven or later, it doesn't count towards the award. So we want to keep that in mind and. Not waste mana. Okay. I expected more experience, not just from this fight, also from the previous ones. I really thought that after doing these five fights on the surface, that we would be almost level 10, and we won't be anywhere near that. There, oh, that was fast. Okay, there's Fire Mage, so that's plus 5 mana, that's huge. 40. The problem is the next level of Fire Mage is 210 casts, and they, that takes forever. And the third level, I think it's 600, so it's, it's almost impossible to get, unless you really go for some kind of a, like a proper Fire Mage cast, which you, I don't think you can do on Impossible, some of the lower difficulties. You can probably work your way through half of the game with like a level 3 Fireball, uh, but on Impossible that doesn't work. And just by casting fame, Fire Arrow whenever you have the option, you'll never get to 600 casts. There is just no way. <clears throat> but we should be able to get 210 eventually, and it's worth it for 5 extra mana. Uh, I wouldn't bother if, if we were not playing a mage, but for a mage, we want to get every bit of mana that we can get. Uh, what else is there? 119. This is going quite well. And yeah, next one is the grand strategy. That's the that's the important one. Okay. That's a lot of bears. Let's see, it's fine. What if I just picked it up right away? It's gonna make it much more like comfortable if I don't have to think about the chest on the enemy side of the field. Pick it up. Stones can we definitely need to cast target here because the the fireflies or dragonflies or whatever they are called, like dragonflies, they are a pain in the ass if you don't force them to attack the right target. I think they have magic attack. No, they have poison attack. Um, and many units have no like defense against poison, so they can hit like a truck. But a green green dragon, if I remember correctly. Actually, no, I thought that we had resistance on that. Huh. Okay. I thought that. I really thought that green dragons had resistance to poison as well. Okay, but well, still. They are the target that we need the flies to attack. Or we could just keep them under control through sleep, that works as well. Good boy. Hmm. 
<laughs> because they won't do anything this turn. I think I'll wait with the warriors, buff them up to make sure they deal maximum damage and then they're gonna kill 89 flies in one hit. Um, the the thorns have pretty significant like ranged on their damage. Uh, and therefore they are an amazing combo with the Holy Anger. If you can guarantee them doing maximum damage, they are, they are the stack that, or the stacks that um, can do by far the highest damage out of all of the units. So <clears throat> we're gonna do that. We can also dig up the second chest. And cast more flaming arrows. So what's the best option here? Try to ignite these guys. Didn't work. Or these guys. Always want to try and ignite the like the the stack with the highest hit points. <clears throat> because the I don't hundred percent understand everything that comes into account with the damage over time but one of the uh, important things is like the overall hit points of the ignited stack so the more hit points uh, the more damage the the ignite does i think there is another um, like number that comes into account and that's the strength of the hit that causes the the ignite I'm not 100% sure about that, but from like the experience playing the game and from what I've noticed, I think it it is one of the factors as well. So there should be two factors for the for the ignite. I'm not sure if it's for all damage over time effects, uh, but at least for the ignite, I think it's hit points of the of the burning stack and strength of the hit that ignited them so this i'm just explaining why i'm always trying to target the the largest stacks with uh, with the flaming arrow okay you're gonna wait uh, can we we can use another trap so let's do that uh Make sure that the dragonflies can't do anything. I'm in, in, um, never mind. So much for my plan. Yep, this is what happens when I'm trying to explain things and don't just focus on like playing the game. Okay. It shouldn't matter. We can do enough damage to the dragonflies that they they die anyway. Hopefully. Of course not. That was like the minimum damage there. Um, <laughs> what are we doing this turn? We are done with chest, so we want to go with mana accelerator. have to reapply the the shield and that was the wrong timing I should have waited wait for the dragons to end their turn and then reapply it this time this way I've lost uh, lost one turn on the duration basically let's see if they fall asleep nope I think it's still worth it buffing up these guys wait Wait, no, I can't do it. I messed up. So I'm gonna lose one turn on both the target and the shield. And it doesn't really matter, but in some fights, this could actually lose you the fight when you don't do everything in the correct order. And this is probably my my like biggest weakness that I often, well, often, yeah, let's say quite often forget about the proper timing on everything. Um, also, if you have the proper timing, you can squeeze in 
more uh, more spells. Like I could have squeezed in probably one more flaming arrow this in this fight if I did it correctly. Kill them. Now you can't really do anything useful, so pick up the chest. And at this point it's just keep shooting. Wait. Oh, that was a... Can you please stop critting? Okay. More flaming arrows. We still should have the defensive uh, buffs. And at this point, losing target is not an issue. I'm just gonna block this tile to make sure the bears can't move towards someone. Okay, this time I should probably do it in the correct order, so wait. Wait. Let's actually get more thorns. Don't like how much damage the, the dragon is taking. Now attack. Now we've lost the buffs, so now we want to reapply it. And the question is, do we want stone skin? We are down to 260... Ah, hmm. Heal is only 65, so it's probably better to play it safe. Yeah, until we get um, a heal to level 2, it doesn't really do much. Just do something. We have way too much rage at this point. Okay, next. Should have been Flaming Arrow on the other stack, but at this point, who cares? This stack. Don't attack. I want to just block this tile. At this point, I'm just gonna use it as soon as possible. More arrows. It's turn eight, so it still counts. something with the rage and now we end it did I dig up I'm actually not sure did I dig up chest here I think I did right I picked uh, the second one up with the with the archmages okay this is what we want. 11 rage, 10 mana. Great. Okay, now we still have quite a few things to pick up. Also, there is one more fight. Can we see it? Yeah, we can see it there. 
but the only way how to get there is on the boat. But that we'll have to wait. What we're gonna do now is go to the catacombs and see how strong the droids are. Strong. Strong. Strong is annoying. But strong should be doable. Oh, this is actually good because there are three ranged stacks that are easier to kill than the melee guys. The these like golden. Uh, it's probably easier to see here. These guys have like red markings on them. These guys have like golden ones. So the golden ones are ranged. The red ones are melee. <clears throat> the melee are actually quite tanky. Okay, so we will fly all the way, otherwise I'd have to land in the trap. And here we definitely have to go all in on tank. This fight may take quite a while, those are out of range. Uh, as usual, where are the chests? Okay, let's dig it up. At least the one on our side, so that we are not wasting rage. Come closer. We have to be careful here. We have to make sure that the target is up all the time, so that it keeps the guard droids busy. Because they have an annoying ability that's called Harpoon. And um, to give you an example, if this droid moved here, then he could use the harpoon on the mages and drag them to to uh, to itself to himself and here they would actually drag them into the trap so uh you really have to make sure you know what the droids are going to do especially these these two stacks otherwise you can suddenly take a Fuck ton of damage out of nowhere, and that would have to be restarted on this fight. <laughs> but as long as the target is up, we should be fine. Yeah, you can see that they are pretty tanky. And unfortunately, I was really hoping that one of them would end up in this trap. Okay. You guys will keep picking up chest. That's a new scroll, I think new spell, but peacefulness. Uh, I think it was peacefulness. Is It's a weird spell. It reduces damage, increases hit points. So sometimes it's useful for tanks. But I like never use it. Where is the second chest? There. It's gonna be difficult to get to because of the trap. I'm gonna use only one flaming arrow here because we have a double cast but I want to save it for later just in case I get into trouble so it's gonna be like an emergency if I have to cast two spells like two defensive spells on the dragons I should have grabbed the other stack I think I can afford it to dig it up. Uh, 
Okay, wait. Ah, whatever. I didn't want to move forward. I don't want to block the path for the uh, for the storm warriors. I will send them through the trap for the chest. Yeah, half of them will die, but whatever. Uh, what else do we have here? Now it's time for mana accelerator. Wait, I can't do this. I have to wait for target. <clears throat> wait. Okay, now we go for mana leech. Target shield. Make sure that everything is reapplied. And we have two more turns on stone skin. Um, 1525. Okay, now we have a turn for flaming arrow. This is the strongest stack, so let's try to ignite it. Step into the trap. Sometimes you want to do this intentionally with the with the units that you spawn because this generates generates rage as well. So it's like the last resort. Sometimes when you desperately need more rage and you just don't have any other option, you just intentionally kill some of them through a trap to generate more rage. Shoot something. Okay, what can we do here? Not much, really. Just two damage. And I'm pretty sure I want one more stack here. Okay, pick that up. But I think it's also a new spell. Oh, here we have still two turns left on the magic shield somehow. Interesting. But we're gonna use it this turn, at the end of turn. Let's finally kill one of the stacks. Wait. Kill another stack. Oh, and I did mess up with the mm, with the flaming arrow. I knew that at some point I'm gonna need to cast target and um, stone skin in one turn, and it would be this turn. And of course, I messed up because I already cast I already cast flaming arrow. So we're gonna take more damage here, more than we should have taken. Uh, by the way. Before I forget, let's get mana back. These are, at this point, very minor things that shouldn't really make much of a difference. But what the heck? What happened there? That's a bug. Definitely shouldn't have ignored the dragon. 
Okay. Because we are under 50% uh, HP, I'm gonna cast the stone skin. Just play it safe. And I guess we'll focus on these guys a bit more because they refuse to listen to what we want them to do. Wait, I can't even like drag them to me. Finish up these guys. Actually, I can. I can do. Oh, no, I'm still gonna do it this way. Now they gonna. Uh, hmm. They also shouldn't have done that because target uh, should rewrite re the, the UI that they stop using unique abilities and just use their basic attack. So they should have moved to the dragon and hit it with melee attack. They shouldn't have used the ability. So this guy is because of a bug, I guess, is unaffected by target. So we have to be careful. Doesn't have anywhere to go though, so... We can do Flaming Arrow and cast target on uh, at the start of the next turn. And because we managed to close him here, they can't get uh, anywhere else or out of this, this pocket. We should be fine here. Uh, these guys can fly. These guys can't, so we should be safe at this point. We don't want to attack, we want these guys to survive for as long as possible. At this point we just want to cast the, the, the shield on cooldown and we want to kill this stack. Uh, we have one turn where we can just do <clears throat> whatever to burn some rage. And get some mana. Okay, yeah. It's attacking here. want one more turn so one more oh that was close and I probably because of this um, the dragon is gonna actually maybe not I think they're gonna attack the thorns and the thorns shouldn't have enough damage uh, no <sighs> three crits in a row wanted to cast one more shield and one more flaming arrow there but three crits in a row what can you do uh, okay, we are getting close to level 10. Let's see, there should be two more stacks here. Uh, there is one that is also strong. Can I need all the droid stacks here to... Um, come on, words. To get to level 10. I really thought that... By the time we fight the second, maybe third stacks uh, here in the catacombs, we will already be level 10. It's gonna be exactly the same fight. As I said, this is the grindy part of the early game. I should have probably used kick here and kick these guys into the trap. Oh well. With a bit of luck. Actually, they should move this way unless we get the bug again. But I've never seen the bug appear uh, on the first cast. 
so the first target should always work. Then it can sometimes fail on the later cast, but the first cast should be reliable. Okay, we don't have to cast telekinesis. They should move without help. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to... Actually, what I could do, if I wanted to do more damage, I could cast trap here and then move this stack into the trap but that would mean casting one less flaming arrow so probably don't want that okay they are burning good still gonna do it because that will put this stack in uh, or next to the dragon for mana leech and we focus on this these guys then we have we have time let's see do that this is a little bit greedy but i want to have all of those chests chests pick up picked up so that i can then only focus on fighting so i'm gonna waste one turn of the dragon Uh, you gonna pick up the chest? We want to save the two casts or the option to cast twice. I mean, okay. This turn we will lose the buffs, so we want the mages to wait. Keep shooting here. Wait for them to first attack. Move to the other side. Pick that up. Um, Oh, 11. Okay, I can't. I need more rage before I can do mana accelerate there. And I shouldn't have cast Flaming Arrow this turn. Still burning, yep. Again, for some reason they are ignoring the target. Specifically, that are bugged in this way. Wait. Or if it's only when they have someone 
they can the, they can reach with the harpoon. That that's the moment way when, when they just ignore target. That's possible. Same thing. Okay, so now I know how it, how it works. I just have to make sure that um, the important units, the, the units that, that can't die, are not in line for the harpoon. Didn't know that. Or can't be kicked, can't be moved with the kick. <laughs> now they're completely ignoring it now. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, the target is up, so they just. They listen to the first target and then they ignore it. Um, mm -hmm. So we want to kill this stack. Uh, it could move. Does it have cooldown? It has cooldown. So they could move here. Okay, I have to hide the mages. And now I should be fine to cast the flaming arrow. Focus on, on this stack. that we get the maximum out of this um, what else one more flaming arrow one more accelerator because why not and end the fight oh so close we will need all three fights. The last one should be here, and it's strong as well. Hmm. Well, I said that I wanted to get to level 10 in this episode, so once more, or once again. Here we have three stacks of the red guys, okay. That means... What does it mean? That we want to wait. Fly here. Because we can't control this stack. Stone skin. Target. Now I need to move forward, and then I want to move the mages here. Um, and I have to focus on, on this tank. What I could have done that, that works as well is just create or get the chest here. And that would create a 
an obstacle they wouldn't be able to use the harpoon through but i'm just gonna give them a target intentionally for the harpoon that was a lot of damage oh we don't have a shield up that explains it okay this is what i'm gonna do just give them a stack of thorn warriors now we get the shield and now oh i forgot to move the mages oops but we know that the first cast of target uh, can't be ignored so everything is fine uh what are we doing now where is the second chest here so let's dig it up as well Now we are free for once. Let's try to use everything the way it's supposed to be. Uh, you wait. Can we push someone into a trap? No. That means we're gonna move you to the dragon. Buff up the warriors, the maximum damage. Use mana leech. So far, so good. Oh, nice crit. So now, ah, three. I thought that we will be able to do f to do enough to kill four, but it's still fine. Oh well, crit helps. And this turn. We cast target, so this turn we don't want to cast Flaming Arrow. We'll pick that up. Wait. Who's next? The ranged guys, probably. Eh, may as well. Wait. I can't pull the last stack to the dragon, unfortunately. Oh well. Okay, now I have to hide the mages. Because now they will stop listening to, to the target. they don't have a better option than to attack the dragon they stayed where they were but that's because i didn't give them better option if i if they had uh, a different target they would have attacked it so this is the turn where we can cast another arrow move closer oh that should have been this one can probably can't even kick them nope wrong ability buff them up And more thorns. Oh, that's pretty bad. It's only 147. <clears throat> hmm. So this is the turn when we want to use the double cast. Oh, that was a nice hit. Okay, wait. 
Oh, two crates in a row. Excellent. Wait. Wait. And we are wasting some rage here, but I don't really have anything to do with it. Okay, so now, now we can do it. Stone skin. Target. Mana accelerator. And get the rage back. So this was finally the correct order of uh, actions in this fight, the second half of this fight. You're gonna die. And uh, this is the last thing that I want to do. This is a way how to move the Royal Thorns closer and still shoot with the full effect. And again, they are doing whatever they want. Okay. If we kill this stack... Oh, even if we kill this, uh, if we don't kill it, they are doing whatever they want, so... Yeah, we can we can go for another flaming arrow here. Wait. Wait. The dragon is quite low, but we only have last stack left and it will go down really fast because everything is gonna uh, focus on it I think this was finally this uh, I've done this fight the way it it's supposed to be done. This one was flawless. I don't think I made a single mistake. Can we get more out of this? It's turn nine, so we can. I think we can get one more shield cast and finish it with the crushing blow. What is more experience? Crushing blow or it's probably mana accelerator. So let's get the the maximum. If we had another fight right after this one, then I would probably go for the kick or I wouldn't even use any rage to save the rage for the next fight. But um, the next fight will take a while to get to it, so we would ra lose the rage anyway. So may as well use it. And there is level 10. 
Okay, we don't want to go uh, for more levels in the treasure searcher because the rage cost is going up. We would eventually, I think, get to three chests that we would be able to dig up three chests per fight. But at that point, it would cost us like 15 rage and uh, that's a lot. So we wouldn't probably even be able to use it that many times in every fight. So it's better to keep it on the, on the low rage cost and make sure that you dig up both chests every time. Then try to be greedy, get for three chests, and then just not have the rage to, to, to use it. Uh, here, th this is too expensive. That's plus five. Plus 5 rage cost for plus 4 mana. The 11-10 is like the ideal ratio. Maybe later, like much later, we will pick it up. Uh, but for now, we are where we want to be. So we will just pick up the only skill that doesn't mess up the important ones. And this is completely irrelevant. Uh, if it uh, have 50 hit points, 250 hit points, uh, the, the wall always gets one shot, it will never make it tanky enough, so... Um, this, the, the wall honestly would be better if it cost one rage and had one health, because it would do the same thing as it does with 250 health and 9 rage. It just basically eats up one attack of one stack. Sometimes it, it is very relevant, but the numbers don't mean anything, that the units, uh, I mean the stacks later do so much damage, the, we are talking thousands and thousands of damage, that this is completely irrelevant. Not even sure why I'm talking about it, but... Um, okay. Now the important decisions. Distortion Magic 3, yes, no. Why is it important? Because there is one stack on this island that have uh, what's the name? Not beholders, evil eyes, I think. Like higher higher tier of beholders that are level four. They are of course ranged, so we can't control them without target three, and we can't get target three without distortion magic three. But target three costs twelve mana. Uh, level two costs six mana. That's a noticeable difference, and the uh, like the, the the decisive fight for the uh, for the charge to Verona, uh, the stack that we'll have to fight doesn't have any level four units. So for that fight, Distortion Magic two is enough. But on level three, we also get one extra t uh, extra turn to duration for a target and Stone Skin. So. That's a tough, 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 tough call. I think I'm gonna leave it for now. Can we get anything else here? Anything relevant? This is way too expensive, everything. Learning is okay, but we want to pick up learning when we have enough to also pick up neatness and start, uh, start destroying uh, items in exchange for crystals. Absolute Grace later is also fine. Getting extra mana and rage, that's actually great. But again, before we get enough mind runes for all of this, that's gonna take forever. Uh, here, rage would be nice, but getting red runes is close to impossible for us. Anger is amazing later. Yeah, all of these. Onslaught is also something we want to pick up. Probably, we probably want to go Rage Control into Heroism, into Onslaught, and then Anger. Um, but it's nothing that's relevant for now. Now it's only relevant: do we pick up Distortion Magic Three or not? Well, we are done here. That's for sure. So let's let me check. Make sure that we. Don't have any hidden chests. No, I think I explored this thoroughly. I remember most of the places where the hidden chests are in the early game, so I'm quite confident that I didn't forget anything. 
Okay, we have a few more items to pick up. So this is... Avenging Angel is nice. I think that's actually something that we want to learn immediately. It's quite expensive. But in some fights, it could be really helpful. On level 1, it's not that... It really needs level 2, but it's the same school of magic. Order magic. Uh, and on level 1, those order magic spells kind of suck. But on level 2, they suddenly become much more interesting. We don't have the runes to, to pick up level 2. On level 2 order magic, that's for sure. Okay, more leadership, more crystals. Nice, 5 crystals is great. And a fortune smile. That otherwise would be... Uh, a child to rust the anchor, but we already have that one, so it got turned into Wanderer Scroll. So um, we can pick up three more, two more that we already have. We don't have access to more mages. <coughs> but they're so important that even if we had just one, I would use it because the shield is just busted. I'd love to get... Uh, how are we doing, by the way, on uh, the six more fights? So this one we don't want to do without... Without... Distortion Magic 3. Those Evil Beholders, that's the problem. Those are level 4. We probably want to go to Rusty Anchor and check how many fights we can do there. Okay, this is Erika, that's the wife of the of the Viking from the coast, so we will quickly talk to her. Yeah, I spoke to your husband. Mm, yeah, I'm on your side. We can actually choose uh, which one we support, and we then fight the other one, but I always go with, uh, like, with Erika, help her. <clears throat> actually, not sure what... What I'd get if I did it the other way around. She would probably stay here and we might get access to different shop. Well, hard to say. I actually don't know. Maybe once at some point for fun I'll try it. Um, but at this point it's too late to change my mind. I already decided to help her again. Okay, Rusty Anchor. Go. We want to check the difficulty of these fights. Okay, there are royal griffins. We can't control them, so we are definitely not doing this fight. Uh, these guys are guarding a chart, so they are invincible to us. Uh, here we have ancient vampires, which are level 4. So again, we can't control them unless we go for Distortion Magic 3, which I might actually have to do, because if I do that, then I suddenly can do most likely this fight. I think we should be able to handle a very strong group, although those Royal Griffins could be a huge pain in the ass. But we definitely would be able to do this quite easily. Uh, go away. I have to be careful not to get too close to those to those vampires. Strong, we would be able to do this. Uh, just have to be careful with the skeleton archers. They can also do a fuck ton of damage. Lethal. Uh, I'm not sure that I want to go for a lethal fight. Let's see. What else do we have here? Lethal. Lethal. Oh, that's everything here is lethal. There's one more group here that's very strong. So we can do three fights here. For sure. Well, for sure. If, uh, if we go Distortion Magic 3, then we can do three fights. Uh, maybe four. There's actually one group that I didn't check. So, that would be 47. 
And then there are three fights on... Uh, what's the name? On Scarlet Wind. That would be a pain in the ass because those are champion fights or boss fights. But that would give us 50. Yeah, we, I think we want to do that. Because that 500 extra leadership is so important. That will give us one, maybe even two extra Royal Thorns. They'll give us a bunch of Beholders, bunch of Inquisitors. And maybe... This, I'm not sure that those six fights will get us to level 11. Uh, but... We know that it gives us Grand Strategy 3, and with that 500 extra leadership, we then could do probably more fights here that would then get us to level 11. And on level 11 it's more runes, it's a little bit extra leadership, it's I think 120 on level 11. So 120 extra leadership, which would be again maybe one more Royal Thorn, more Beholders, more Inquisitors. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, gonna do next time. I think I will. I will do it and do uh, distortion magic, level three. Um, we do those three fights here. Then move, or maybe we will actually start on um, on Scarlet Wind because those fights there will be much more annoying. And I think I will have to reload uh, once or twice, and then. Then we get get Grand Strategy 3 uh, on this island. Okay, so that's the plan for next episode. Grand Strategy 3, level 11, and the episode after that, we'll do the fight for, for charts to Verona, which is going to open up so much more on the map. Because from Verona, we'll soon be able to move to Montero. Um, it's, it's somewhere we should get also charts. There is an island here that I don't remember how it's called. I think it's called Tecron or something like that. <clears throat> and Verona and Montero are huge continents. There's so much for us to loot and so many more shops. So items, more units. Would be great if we got um, access to Archmages on Montero. Uh, not Montero, on Verona. That would help so much because fighting with just three... It's like our army is 20% weaker, basically, than it should be. Once we are done with this, then we will start. Have to st we will have to start opening like all the islands that are here. But that's where you are getting like like to to late game or later part of mid game. These are a pain in the ass. All of them. Okay, for today we are done, so I hope that you liked this episode, I hope that you're gonna join me for the next one again, and until then, have a good time, bye bye.